everyone welcome back to my channel and so today I am filming a what's in my travel bag so in my last video I talked about um, my Telfar bag and I gave my review on it and I mentioned that this is a bag that I use for travel and one of the main reasons is because I think it's large enough to carry two purses in <laughs> which you'll see in a moment as well as my water bottle and the other items that I use to travel wanted to show you what I keep inside of my large well it's the medium size my medium size <laughs> you can see my hand is shaking heavy tofer bag so this one thing I didn't mention in the review that I'll mention here is I do pack this bag to the extreme when I'm traveling I'll have my purse this is my personal item and then my carry-on I don't really like to check things and so whatever I don't put inside of my carry-on I need to make sure it can go inside of my purse and so here I'll just again give you a brief overview this is what the bag looks like when it is stuffed the side the back and then we'll look at the other side you can see I have two handles just hanging one thing that I mentioned in the past video is that I had a piece of plastic around the like button part of the bag and so I was wondering if that was why it wasn't you know staying shut when I tried to close it and I actually haven't tested that theory yet again so now actually no <laughs> this bag isn't I I did add one more thing in this bag that I didn't have with me when I last traveled because I completely forgot it and it's something that I never forget and with this item in my bag it's it's not even closing like it's not even allowing me to shut it and so that just is to answer the question that I had in my previous video I think if I take this item out because I didn't have it with me originally let's see huh yeah so oh nope popped open but with the item taken out the bag does relatively close and I think if I hurry up and hold nope as soon as I let it go, it popped open. So that little plastic that was on the um, the closing part of the bag, it it didn't really do it didn't do much. This bag just doesn't close when it's overstuffed, which I guess you know makes sense. Maybe that happens with other bags as well. This was the item that I didn't have originally. It is just my laptop. This is a MacBook, and I just have a case on it. I didn't carry it with me when I came back from my recent trip because I didn't think I needed it then when I got there I was like I need my laptop I wish I hadn't forgot to pack it but I did and now I just know this is something that I'm always going to you know pack and, and carry with me uh, so I'm not you know thirsty on my flight so I have that in my bag so now this next thing that I'm going to take out might seem strange and so inside <laughs> of my large tofer bag is my purse <laughs> so this is the purse that I use almost every single day I know it's a little strange so now you see this tofer bag is empty it's literally just a, the travel carrying case for the items that I need to bring with me when I travel but just a quick close-up this is what the the bag inside of my travel bag looks like so I always travel with a pair of headphones I will always bring on a plane it's a pair of headphones because I don't really like to be bothered when I'm on flies, I like to put my headphones in, close my eyes, and just relax. I have my phone charger, and I also bring the, like the, I'm not exactly sure what this is even called, but you know, the plug for the wall. So I make sure I bring both. Usually I'll bring a plug for the wall that has two in it, so I, if I ever need to bring like a separate type of charger, I could charge both of them. But that's also something that I always make sure I have with me, and you see this one's also wrapped in a ponytail holder. In addition to bringing my charger and the wall plug, I don't play about my phone not being charged. So I bring a portable charger and I like to charge them the night before. And yes, I said them because nine out of 10 times, I'm bringing two. Because, <laughs> well, it depends on the trip. If I'm going somewhere for a long time and if one dies and I don't know if I'm ever gonna have access you know, to, to a plug to charge my thing, I like to have two chargers and I, I got these two were actually gifts and so I got two and I was like bring most of the time I always just bring one with me no matter where I'm going if I'm traveling or not it's always in my purse if I'm taking a longer trip 
I just like to have two because it makes it a lot easier, especially when I'm traveling with multiple people. So I have my portable charger. Now, because of the wake of, you know, the pandemic, I like to bring an extra mask as well as a pair of gloves and a wipe because I try not to, you know, play too much about, you know, personal space and hygiene. I like to, you know, wipe down the seats and things like that before I get on the plane. Another thing I don't play about when I'm traveling is because you never know with layovers and delays. Airport food is very expensive, so I like to travel with snacks and a meal. And what I mean by a meal is more so just like a sandwich. I don't have it today because, you know, I'm not, I'm coming back from a trip. But I'll pack like a Nutella, maybe peanut butter sandwich. Nothing, I try not to pack peanut butter because of allergies. I am aware, I, I don't have a peanut allergy, but I have friends with peanut allergies and I'm just, I'm just aware of certain allergies and I don't like to bring certain things. And so I'll just try and pack some type of, of sandwich thing that's easy to just store in the purse along with a fruit, like a banana, an orange, something that's not too messy. Usually if I'm really being fancy, not even usually, nine out of 10 times, I will make a small like fruit bowl and carry that in there and so I usually take if I like to take early flights then I can just eat that for breakfast sometimes I'll bring two sandwiches especially if I have a layover just want to make sure I'm covered with meals I mean I'm not I'm really hungry I will buy something at the airport but there's been times where I've gone to the airport and I'm so hungry and everything is closed because either I've gotten in on a late flight or it's too early or something like that and I'm like great I have nothing to eat and I am waiting this like four or five hour connection flight. So I just wanna make sure I always have something. And if I don't bring a sandwich, then I have snacks. So in addition to like a little meal, like sandwich and fruit type of thing, I have snacks. This is just like a fruit roll bar. I'm not an olive eating person. I'm trying to get into, you know, enjoying olives. So I brought this at Trader Joe's. And as you see, I didn't end up eating, I didn't end up eating these, but, um, yeah, I just bought some olives. I figured if I'm that hungry, <laughs> I will I'll pull open and eat it. It's already ready to eat, so that's great. These are what I was eating on the flight in addition to the, to the sandwich. Just these chocolate almonds from Public Goods. They're pretty good. In addition to that, I also have these things. And so, you know, I wear glasses. If you watched my work with me video, you could see I had my glasses on. I still have the case in the case right now I just have my glasses in there but I also have two you know throw away travel wipes and the glasses cleaner all right last thing I have inside of my purse that was inside of my other purse is my final purse <laughs> I know there was like what because usually when I pack my carry I'm, I'm an overpacker so when I pack my carry-on it's usually pretty stuffed with clothes because I'm not sure exactly what I want to wear when I get there. And I don't have time, I mean, I don't have space to, to carry on my bags. And so I like to have my big travel bag, especially I like to bring a bigger travel bag on the plane than just this because my suitcase is already stuffed and if I go and I want to buy something, the, I, I'm really, I'm pretty good at packing things together. And so I like to use my Telfer bag or like a large bag as my purse because then if, I, if I'm traveling and I'm buying things, if it doesn't fit in my suitcase, I can easily roll it up and put it inside my Telfer bag. So even though my Telfer bag in the beginning was big and stuffed, I don't know if you could notice, but there was still some, the purse was in the middle, water bottle was on the right side. I still had some space on the left hand side if I wanted to roll up some clothes, it couldn't be heavy, but like some light clothes that I bought and I could have stuffed it in there. So that is another big thing about the, the Telfer bag. It kind of depends on how you pack. I, over the years, have kind of perfected my, not my suitcase packing, but my purse packing. I've kind of perfected that. Actually, I've gotten a little bit better with suitcase, suitcase packing as well because I now purchase these containers. Instead of just putting my clothes in my suitcase, I put them in the container and the containers fit well inside of the suitcase. But anyways, the last item in my purse, as you can see, I'm someone that enjoys purses with straps. I like a knife handle. I like an attached strap. This one I took off and I stuffed it inside of this bag. But this is a nice, like really cute detailed purse that I got from, I think I got it at the same time I brought this one. It was from Ross or Marshalls. I really can't remember where I got it from. But this isn't something I would bring as an everyday purse. This is more so if I'm going out, going to a nice dinner. I have it in black and a nice brown color. 
So this was everything that's in, that was inside of my purse, inside of my purse, inside of my purse <laughs> for my original travel bag. So as I mentioned before, I do use this Telfer bag because it's large enough to hold the items that I need and that I don't want to put in my suitcase. I just do it like this. And then there, there'll be times where if I'm going somewhere and um, I don't, you know, I don't want to bring, you know, my everyday bag. I'm like for the whole trip, I'm just going to use my Telfer bag. And then I obviously won't pack the purse inside of it. But all the items that were inside of the purse, I would just pack it neatly in my Telfer bag. But one thing is I usually always try and bring no less than two purses. Because sometimes just having a big bag, and like I said, I don't like how this looks necessarily on me when I'm holding it on my shoulder. I just like to have, I like to be able to switch it up. And so I think I pack my bags well enough to be able to do that. The biggest drawback is that it is heavy. And so it's heavy if you pack like me. And so that's why I will usually hold my purse. I always bring a carry-on with wheels, put the purse on the carry-on, push it through the airport. If they check my, the worst thing is if they check my, my carry on, I got to carry this heavy purse around. That's okay. Because it holds everything that I need. And yeah, this is my first time using this bag as a travel bag. Typically I'll just, I'll just use something similar to it or just kind of like a grocery bag. I used to, <laughs> if I was really rushing, I just put my things in a grocery bag, not a grocery bag, but like a reusable bag. That's kind of cute. And then I put my purse inside my purse inside my purse inside of it. And that's like my, my under the seat bag. I, I say all this to say, my under the seat bag will never be my small bag. Because if I'm buying something, I need, to, I need to be able to know that I can bring everything back. So I like to bring a big bag as my, my airplane bag. Because if it doesn't fit in my carry-on, I mean, I can put it inside of my um my bigger bag and so yes that was all the other thing i didn't mention is if i'm flying internationally anywhere in addition to bring my phone i will always bring my ipod it's over there charging so i don't want to go pick it up but it's literally the standard like short like it's about this small i buy I, not the nano i don't even i think it's a third generation ipod it still works it works well it works fine it connects to my bluetooth headphones and so I like to bring that as well because I'm traveling internationally and I don't want to run up the battery on my phone even though I have the charger. Sometimes it's nice to go back and listen to the old music you used to love when you were in like middle, I think I got that in like middle school and so I'm like oh, all this, all this glee, I don't know, <laughs> all those young songs, this brings me back instead of the music that I have on like my phone. It's just nice to have, to have both. And so yeah. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed and to stay tuned to my next one. Bye. Also, let me know down below if you're going on any upcoming trips for the pandemic. What do you pack? Do you have your little, you know, pandemic kit with your mask and your gloves and your Clorox wipes? If so, how do you store it? Like I said, I usually don't keep it in a baggie like this. I'll have it in its own little cute container. But for this trip, just kind of being lazy, grab the first thing I had. But let me know down below. Bye.